Greetings, Bobby W. 6 in here. Tid Radio has been so kind to sponsor a holiday giveaway. They're going to be giving away one Tid Radio H3 and one Tid Radio H8. So stand by to see how you can win yours. So I reviewed both of these radios in the past. These actually have something different that a lot of these other radios don't, and that's the Bluetooth programming. They also have some other features. This H3 has some really rad features where you can download some custom firmware and do some other things with it. We'll dive into that a little bit. We're gonna talk about how to unlock both of these radios. I'm gonna kind of give, a, give another quick review, again, after having them both for, I think, about a year or so now. And we're gonna talk about some of the specs and how you can win yours. So let's jump right into the rules. So the rules are as is. It's for the US only. You have to be a public subscriber. Somewhere within this video, there's gonna be a keyword. You need to enter that keyword into the comments below. On December 31st or shortly after, I'm gonna pick a winner with the random comment selector. And that's gonna select someone that's entered one of the keywords. The first winner is gonna be given the TDH8 and the second winner will be given the TDH3. I'll notify TID Radio and they'll ship them out to you. So make sure that you're a public subscriber and that you find the keyword and enter it in the comments below. All right, let's take a look at the specs on the H3. So this thing's advertised as eight band receive and dual band transmit. However, it's actually a tri-bander and will transmit on the 220 megahertz. It's USB-C charging on the battery here on the bottom and also on the side below the Kenwood jack, there's a USB-C for the programming. It has Bluetooth. You can program it with an app called OD Master from your Android or Apple device. Yes, you can program it from your cell phone. I'm gonna jump into that more later, so stay tuned. So this has some other cool features like the wireless frequency copy, which it will clone. So if you have another H3 radio and they both have the Bluetooth mode on, and then you're in the clone mode, you can copy the program settings and the channels from one radio to the other via Bluetooth, which I find that very cool. It also has custom firmware you can get from a guy named Marcus Dudley, which opens up a whole bunch of other stuff. We'll be diving into that a little bit soon. It has the airband receive on it. So yes, you can listen to the planes on here. There's multiple ways to program it. It is chirp friendly, but they do have their own CPS programming software. There is the OD Master app that I spoke of where you can program it from your phone. Uh, they say the frequency range on this thing is 50 to 76 receive, 76 to 108 receive, that's your FM broadcast, AM 108 to 136 megahertz, there's your AM uh, airband, VHF 136 to 400 megahertz receive, UHF 400 to 470 receive, and then 470 to 600 receive. So it does two meters, 70 centimeters, and 1.25 meters. It has the Bluetooth programming like we spoke of, and here's a little quick peek of the OD Master app. It has dual PTT on it, so you can uh, set up your dual watch and it will PTT on the bottom or the top. On the app, which we'll dive into more, it has a repeater list and it will just pull up all the repeaters in distance and you can program it right from your phone to there. So stay tuned to learn more about that. Let's jump over to the H8. Oh, and I forgot to mention the TID H3 is five watts and the TID H8 is advertised at 10 watts. All right, let's check out the specs on the H8. So the H8 is a dual bander transmit and receive. It does not have the air band. However, it still has the USB-C charging and the Bluetooth function, but this radio does do the 10 watts. And also, I did a full review on this radio, so if you wanna see it more in depth, go click on that link somewhere up here. All right, there's a bunch of different versions, but this one, it comes with the 2,500 milliamp hour battery. Both of the radios have 199 channels, the USB-C charging, the NOAA weather. So just like its little brother, it also has the Bluetooth programming that works with the OD Master. So you can program it from your phone or your tablet device. It also works with Chirp or their CPS. 
What, what'd you say the keyword was, Ricky? What, what, what'd you say it was? Raspberry, raspberry. Raspberry is the keyword lowercase. So make sure you enter raspberry into the comments below. All right, let's jump to the workbench and take a closer look at both of these radios. All right, let's take a look at the TDH3 and the TDH8 side by side and talk about some of the differences. All right, they're both labeled as dual banders, but the H3 actually is a tri-bander. The H8 is just a dual bander and does not have the air band. This one does have the air band. This one is 10 watts and this one is five watts. And I've done a full review on both of them. So check out the videos if you want more detailed information on either radio and to see the power tests. They both come pre-programmed with the NOAA Weather on the stock firmware. On the TID Radio TDH8, all you do is you hold the bottom button here. And that will activate it and to go through the channels, you use the up and down arrows here. So this custom firmware by Marcus Dudley has all kinds of cool features. I wanted to show you just one. If you hold down the 5 key, you can access a scope. You can also get it from menu 29, I believe. All right, now you're seeing a scope. I'm going to transmit on another radio on a frequency within range of the scope to demonstrate. W6 IWN testing, one, two, three, testing scope. W6 IWN testing scope. So that way you can monitor frequencies within the range and change to that frequency that's active. All right, let's take a look at this custom firmware. This is an entire video within itself, so stand by. I hope to do a video on that in the future. Let's take a quick peek at the menus. So you have your normal squelch, step, wait, modulation? What is this, auto? You can change your modulation from AM, FM, and upper sideband? Hmm, very interesting. You have your transmit power. You can adjust right here in the radio to anything you want up and down. If you look as it changes, see it goes from 2.8, 2.9 with the value that changes there. That's cool. So you can get any transmit power you want. So these are other things I found interesting. It has groups in here you can turn off starting at menu 19. You can change your battery style from percent to volts or off or to the icon that you see there. So you have just the percentage, the voltage, off, which is still showing the voltage, and the icon, PTT mode, wake LCD with the keys, C scan frequency, RX expander, AF filters, WL clone, so yeah, there's a, a ignore birdies. There's a lot of menus you're not gonna find in your standard uh, firmware in here. So yeah, check out Marcus's custom firmware. I'll put a link below. He also has a Facebook page called Tiddy Radio H3 Hacks. Check that out. All right, to program it via Bluetooth, your phone, you're gonna need an app. That app works for both iPhone and Android devices. You can find it on the Google Play Store. You just type in OD Master or if you go to the Apple App Store, you can find it there. All right, once you have the app downloaded to your device, you're gonna to wanna to head and go open the OD Master and on the top, you need to click here, connect to Bluetooth and ensure the Bluetooth is on on your radio. And it's gonna pop up with this. It's gonna say kit. Just go ahead and toggle that on. And then it popped up with the notification that says connection succeeded. That is good. So next you wanna select model. So if you go in here into model, mine is, there's a bunch of different ones. Mine is a TID radio, obviously, and I have the TDH3. So now my model is selected. Let's confirm it's connected to the radio properly and hit the read. Great. See a progress bar here on the app. And if you look on the radio too, the progress bar is going across, just like on your computer. It's reading the information from there and it's sending it to the CPS here, the OD master. 
All right, once that's done, you can go in here. You also have the programs and settings. So in here, you can go per channel. If you click over here, see how it says it's on channel one. If I click on that, you have all your channel memories. The ones red are empty, the ones green are used. And then you can adjust your frequency, the tones, everything that you normally would be able to adjust. And then if you go over here to function, there's also some of the settings within the radio that you can adjust right here from the OD Master app, which I find very cool. So the repeater list, if you click on this, this is awesome. So this finds repeaters that are near you and it already has all the information. If you just click import to the radio, it will program it right to your radio. I work out of town sometimes. So sometimes there's a repeater I don't have programmed in my radio. I'll go in here and I'll look up repeaters near me and I'll plug it in and now I have access to that repeater out of area. So it's very cool. For example, I'm gonna click on this KR7EK and that gives all the information about the repeater. If I want to simply import it to my radio, I just go down here. I'm gonna click channel 103 and click confirm. All right, now if I wanna import that, I click import, right to radio. So once again, you see the program, progress bar pop up here and on the radio, it's writing that information to the radio. Upload complete, bam. Okay, now that we've programmed the H3 via Bluetooth in the OD Master app, let's go to channel 103 and see if we can find that repeater I just programmed. One, zero, three. There it is, KR7EK on channel 103, programmed and ready to go. All right, to unlock the H3, all you need to do is hold the star key up here next to the three on the top right. Simultaneously hold the star key while pressing the PTT, the press to talk, the top button here, while you turn on the radio. So make sure you have both of those held in. Go ahead and turn on the radio. Then you're gonna be prompted with this screen here. And it's gonna say number one for ham, two for GMRS, three for normal which is both modes, so pick your mode appropriately. This is how you unlock the TDH8. It's a very similar method. You're gonna to wanna to hold the PTT button on the side simultaneously while turning it on and holding the star key. So there's three different methods on this one and three different keys. The star key will unlock only the ham mode. So we're not gonna do that for the demonstration. If you hold the PTT while pressing the zero key at the same time as turning it on, you'll be prompted with this message, which it says, initiate GMRS system, which we don't wanna do in this demo. What everyone probably wants to know is what happens when you hold the pound key while turning on the radio and holding the PTT. Initiate unlock system, which will work for both modes. Pick your mode appropriately. All right, if you just can't wait for the giveaway and you need to have your H3 or H8 right now, tidradio.com has them for you. They also have some sort of mystery box, Christ Christmas mystery box for $34.99 where you can either get an H8, an H3, or a DP738. I'm not sure what that radio is yet, to be honest. But uh, also the H3, that comes in a bunch of different bundles. If you want it with more antennas or batteries or if you want doubles it usually seems like if you buy a two pack you get the the best price and you'll get a longer antennas and stuff but just for the base model it looks like for the h3 it is 32.99 right now and if you use my coupon code i can get you 10 percent off anything at tidradio.com it's w6iwn radio and i'll post it below in the video description and also the h8 is on sale for $50.99 for the base model right now. So if those are something you are interested in, I will post the links below. Ricky and I wanted to wish you guys good luck and a happy holidays. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you on the next one.